Hello everyone, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. Today, we are going to look at how to use the Russian peasant method to find the product of any two given numbers in C++. But as usual, we are first going to write the algorithm and then use the algorithm to model our code in C++. So, let's simplify. The Russian peasant method is one way of finding the product of any two given numbers. Given that a and b are two positive numbers, a is divided by 2 and its decimal part truncated, while b is also multiplied by 2. The process of dividing and multiplying is repeated until a attains a value of 1. The product of the two numbers is then the sum of all b values whose corresponding a values, including the initial value of a, are odd. As a typical example, let a and b be 21 and 10 respectively. Then the division and the multiplication can be written down as follows. In the above, the bolded lines show when the value of a is odd. The product of the two numbers will therefore be the sum of the bolded b values, which is 210, that is 10 plus 40 plus 160. Write a computer solution that accepts as input two positive integers and then return the product of the two numbers using the above method with an appropriate caption. Hint, Use the modulus operator where necessary. To the algorithm, we are going to accept two positive integers as inputs. So we say input A and input B. Now, since we are going to find the product of A and B, we are going to create an empty variable called product that will store the product of A and B. So we say product equals zero. From the question, it says that Given a and b are two positive numbers, a is divided by 2 and its decimal part truncated, while b is also multiplied by 2. This process of dividing and multiplying is repeated until a attains a value of 1. Since the process is repeated, we need a loop, and until a attains a value of 1 will be the condition. So we say, while a is not equal to 0, which is the condition, meaning a can be any positive integer except 0. Now, in this while loop, we are going to repeatedly divide a and multiply b by 2. But before that, the question says the product of the two numbers is the sum of all b values, where corresponding a values, including the initial value of a, are odd. So before we start doing the division and then the multiplication we are first going to check whether the user's initial value of a is odd so we say if a modulus 2 is not equal to 0 that is if a is an odd number product plus equals b that is add a's corresponding b value to product and end if from here, we can divide a by 2 and multiply its corresponding b value by 2. And then end while. We can print our results now. So we say print product. With a given table above, let's visualize how our while loop actually works. While a is not equal to 0, the initial value of a, which is 21, is not 0. So we can enter the loop. If a modulo 2 is not 0, that is if a is odd and 21 is an odd number. So we can enter the if statement, which says product plus equals b. The corresponding b value of 21, which is 10, should be added to the product making 0 as 10, which is still 10. And if. Outside this if statement, a divided equals 2. Divide 21 by 2, which gives us 10. B times equals 2. Multiply 21's corresponding B value by 2, which gives us 20. And while to the top, while A is not equal to 0, A is now 10 and not 0, so we can enter the loop. If a modulus 2 is not equal to 0, that is, if a is odd, 
a which is 10 is not odd it's an even number so we jump this if statement and come a divided equals 2 divide 10 by 2 which is 5 b times equals 2 multiply 10's corresponding b value by 2 which is 20 times 2 giving us 40 and wow to the top again while a modulus while a is not equal to 0 a is now 5 and not 0 so we can enter the loop again if a plus 2 is not equal to 0 that is if a is odd 5 is an odd number so we can enter the if statement product plus equals b the corresponding b value which is 40 should be added to the product making 10 plus 40 which is 50 and if a divided equals 2 divide 5 by 2 which is 2 b times equals 2 multiply 5 corresponding b value by 2 which is 40 times 2 giving us 80 and wow you should be able to continue with the rest as you have noticed the pattern when you get to the fifth loop a will be equal to 1 after dividing 1 by 2 you are going to get a to be 0 and the condition to enter the loop is that a is not 0 so we jump to the end and print the value of product which is 10 plus 40 plus 160 giving us 210 which is the correct product of 21 and 10 all right friends we are through with the algorithm let's take a look at our code in c but before that i will encourage you to pause the video give it a like and subscribe all right then to our code in c in the int main function i declared a b and product to be integers and i also initialized product to be zero see out enter a in quotation marks as a string it should display to the user enter a see in a the user should input the integer value of a see out enter b in quotation marks as a string the computer should display to the user enter b see in b the user should enter the integer value of b now i set my while loop the condition being that a is not equal to zero if a modulus 2 is not equal to 0, that is, if a is odd, product plus equals b. Add b to the value, add b to the value in product. Now, I end my if statement with curly braces, which is actually not needed for a single line of code, which is the product plus equals b. But anyway, outside my if statement, a divided equals 2. Divide a by 2. b times equals 2. Multiply b by 2. Now, I end my while loop with curly braces, which is needed for a block of quotes. Outside my while loop, see out end line. The computer should move to the next line. See out product of a and b in quotation marks as a string product. You should attach the integer value of product to the string product of a and b system pulse is greater than zero this will ensure that only the needed information will be displayed when we run our code and then return zero by custom so now i'm going to enter values for a and b and then we see how our code will run enter a i entered 21 enter b i entered 10 on pressing enter product of a and b equals 210 which is correct so our code is running properly that's it for this video in c plus plus like this video plus plus subscribe plus plus see you in the next video till then a plus plus